So you're coughing, but is it from the smoke or the COVID? These days, it can be hard to tell the difference. Yeah, it sure is. While COVID, we know, is the invisible enemy, the wildfire smoke we can all really see. Got a live picture for you from Lookout Mountain, if we can take that. Now, normally, you can see downtown Denver. Not tonight. Jacqueline Quinn joins us now live at Bruce Randolph Elementary School, where there's an air quality monitoring station. Jacqueline, how are things? Well, you know, just looking up this air quality monitor right here, it actually says moderate, but like you were talking about the skies, you know, it's rather soupy. So a lot of us are wondering, what are we breathing in? So I talked with a pulmonologist at National Jewish Health, and he says, pay attention to your symptoms, how long you're feeling them. Those could be signs, but of course, a lot of us really, it'll be a while before we take in a deep breath. Solo en mis ojos. From eyes to lungs. A little bit harder to breathe, like I said, it's hard to tell if it's the mass or the smoke. People in Colorado are questioning what's making them feel uncomfortable. I have uh, really bad allergies ever since it started. Luis is working on a house in North Denver, and as someone who wears glasses, he says his eyes have been pretty red since the fires grew. Yeah, there's not much I can do about it. I mean, anytime there's air pollution, it's um, a whole mix of particulates. And Dr. Anthony Gerber, a lung specialist, at National Jewish Health has been receiving a lot of calls from patients. And around Denver, there's also ozone pollution. The dirty mix can cause lung inflammation. That may cause coughing and those with lung conditions to have breathing problems. But what if it's COVID-19 symptoms? If you're someone who, when you exercise, you notice yourself coughing and it doesn't seem any different and you don't feel sick beyond what you would expect, then you're probably okay. If coughing persists or gets worse, he recommends testing. Notable signs of COVID-19 include loss of smell and fever. Running, being outside, enjoy those benefits can outweigh maybe the small risk when the air quality is not ideal, but also isn't in that really dangerous range. Ultimately, it may be a personal decision. Of course, some don't feel there's much of a choice. Yeah, I mean, you only get a certain amount of breaks, but like we're here to work, so. And Dr. Gerber says if you do have a lung condition or you're dealing with small children, something or someone like a, a six month old, then you do want to exercise more caution and in some cases check in with your doctor. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First. All right, Jacqueline.